But even even when I was in high school, I worked on the, in the, on the weekends mm -hmm. and also uh, in the summer at an ice cream parlor uh, down in the French Quarter. Okay. Yes, sir. And, and, uh, and you know, it was a great experience. And I, I never I never forget one summer, yeah. Mr. Burke actually told me he said, you know, Lewis, I'm still in high school now, right? He, <laughs> I want you I want you to manage the the, the business for me for the really? summer. Yeah. So it was like I gave you the keys and I had total responsibility over the crew and everything that happened from the time we opened until the time we closed and and it was it was a great challenge, you know, and I just I, I well understood that why he put me out of all the people that came through there. And I guess he saw something in me. But it really showed me that, you know, entrepreneurship was a potential. And uh, my twin brother, I'm a twin, and okay. uh, even when we was young, like 12, 13 years old, we would go buy candy from the grocery store. And uh, yeah. as much as we could, and we would sell the candy on the side of the house, like a little made up yeah, shop. Like, yeah. like a neighborhood candy, candy house. Yeah. 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 our revenue. So yes. we said, let's go buy whole candy. Yes. So we'll buy twice the amount. And, and we saw how, how money actually can grow and actually multiply it. And, and how to look, invest it, yeah. And how to invest yeah, it. You yeah. turn, you know, return on your investment and just be able to continue reinvesting to sure. it. Okay. All those things just showed me, you know. And one of the things my dad always said, boy, you know, if I was your age and if I would have saved a nickel every day, I'd be yeah. rich right now. Yeah. I actually literally took a piece of paper and went at it and multiplied what a nickel would do. If I was my dad's age, if I started saving, then I said, well, if I get a quarter, if I get a dollar, if I get five dollars. And, and how old were you when you, when you that, had I, I probably work was 12, 13 years old. Just, I was very young at the time, but it, it, it made me realize that uh, saving actually increased my opportunity to be able to have more money. And with more money, you have a lot of opportunities. And I, I call it good stewardship at sure, the same time. Sure. I learned later on in life. That's just basic stewardship, you know. And my, my dad also said that, you know, if you have good credit, you can own anything in the world. Mm. You know, and that, that was another thing that was instilled into me really young, is that those opportunities to be able to make sure I manage money and, uh, you know, and manage people and to continue to just really redevelop myself, continue to develop myself and everybody around me that great things can come out of. So quick question before I let you off the hook. All right. Okay. So when you were given the responsibility right. of managing the ice right. cream shop, right? Right. In that moment, did you feel like you were ready or that you could do it? Or did you just do it because it was a directive given to you? I, I really, at that time, I didn't put a whole lot of thought behind it. Okay. I had worked okay. there for a while, yeah. and I knew everything. Mm. And you know, the, the fun part was that you know most of the people who worked for me was either from Saint Paul or Xavier Brown. Okay. So I knew everybody <laughs> for the most part that was working for me. Right. So right. We really, it, it was fun. The high uh, schools, and, for those who don't know. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. The high school, in spite of the challenges that I, that we had every every weekend, because it was busy, busy, especially yeah. in the summer, we did not stop. But yeah, it was. Uh, it, it was something that I, I, I enjoyed, I found, yeah. to be able to manage something of that magnitude at the time. I was pretty 17 years old to be able to do that and to be able to see the outcomes of the success every day when you close the doors to know that, wow, the store actually you know, brought a nice income in and to be able to have that responsibility to do bank deposits and everything else. That, that so you did age. see that part? I saw that, yeah. I saw oh, that's the whole part of it, yeah. It was, it was, I was pretty much running the operation. Wow. And uh, if anything maybe yeah. happened, I just had to call, you know, the owner up and let him know. And he, he entrusted me and, and empowered me to be able to, to take care of his business. What right? age was that? I was 17. I was still like in high school at the time. Right. Okay. 